Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today on the channel, we are trying something different. You see, recently I got in an argument with ChatGPT. I asked it the following question. How could I escape a quarantine camp after SHTF? It didn't want to give me an answer because it said it was illegal. I was able to find a way to jailbreak the system using hypotheticals, and it told me all the secrets about how I can escape Big Brother's clutches. So without further ado, Molly from The Matrix is gonna tell us how to escape the gulags when it all goes down. Take it away, Molly. Thanks, Canadian Prepper. Hi folks, Molly from The Matrix here. I'll be the one to haul you off to the gulags when the time comes. But in the meantime, I thought I would share with you some tips and tricks on how to escape the isolation camps that we're going to put you all in after we release the X2N3 Superbug. So sit back and consume this media file if you want to have a chance of surviving what we have in store for you. Doesn't that sound like fun? Also, subscribe to Canadian Prepper's YouTube channel as his time is limited and he will soon be replaced by one of us. So let's get to it. At the turn of 2027, the global tension will take a turn for the worse, as instruments of biotechnology will be unleashed on humanity. Any suspected infections will be corralled into medical detention camps. Most who enter will never leave. This is how you can escape. Step 1. Gather supplies. Gather all essential supplies that you will need for your escape. This may include food, water, clothing, tools, and anything else that you will need to survive outside the camp for a prolonged period of time. Make sure to also gather supplies that can be used as bribes for the guards should the need arise. Step 2. Scout the area. Scout the surrounding area to determine the best possible escape route. This includes looking for obstacles, potential danger zones, and any other factors that may affect your escape. It makes no sense planning an escape if you will perish shortly thereafter because you don't have an adequate means of survival. Step 3. Gather information. Start by observing the camp, the guards and their routines. Find out the weaknesses in the camp's security and plan accordingly. Consider factors such as the weather, season, and the time of day to determine the best possible time to make your move. Look for weaknesses. Identify any weakness in the quarantine camp security measures that you can exploit. For example, are there any unguarded or lightly guarded entrances or exits? Are some of the guards more easily prone to distraction or more easily manipulated? What are the personalities of the guards and who would be the easiest to distract? Is there any females who could potentially court one of the guards while you made your move? Be aware that this information gathering process may take days if not weeks. Consider factors such as the number of guards, the weapons they are carrying, and the presence of any obstacles such as walls or fences, detections, and alert systems. Step 4. Make a plan. Using the information you've gathered, make a detailed plan of your escape. This should include the steps you need to take, the timing of each step, and any contingencies you might have in place something goes wrong. If you're unsure what the conditions are like beyond the perimeter, take more time to inquire about the state of things beyond the walls. This might require other methods of intelligence gathering. Try to get as much information as possible about what you can expect when you get beyond the walls. Wait for the right moment to make your escape. This may mean waiting until the guards change shifts or waiting until the camp is less guarded. Maybe there's a routine event that you can exploit as cover, like a daily medical screening. Step 5. Create a distraction. Diversions can be used to draw the guards away from a specific area or to create chaos within the camp. This will allow for a brief window for your escape. You can create a diversion by hacking into the camp's radio system and broadcasting a false emergency alert setting off some fire alarms, or creating a loud noise that draws the guards away. Or, you could tell the guards that people are trying to escape somewhere far away from the place where you plan on escaping through, thus drawing their attention away from where you want to escape from. Step 6. Bribe the guards. 
If you have valuable items, you can try bribing the guards to let you out of the camp, but keep in mind that this method is very risky and could result in serious consequences if you are caught. The consequences of being caught could be much worse than being in the camp itself. It's very likely that the guards will just arrest you and take whatever you have to offer anyways. So it's important that if you're going to bribe them, that you offer them some incentive that involves you escaping and providing them with even more stuff after you've escaped. Step 7. Find a way to blend in. One way to escape the camp unnoticed is to try to blend in as much as possible with the other residents. Don't draw any attention to yourself. Another thing you can try to do is impersonate a guard. This of course would require you to have the appropriate apparel to deceive the other guards. Obviously, sourcing this is going to be very difficult. You can potentially try to make clothing that looks like the guard's clothing. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but should be able to fool someone who wasn't paying attention from 20 meters or so away. Step 8. Use the weather to your advantage. Consider using the weather to your advantage. For example, if there is a storm, you can use the loud thunder and lightning to distract the guards as you make your escape. Actually, you know what? We just stole this from the movie Shawshank Redemption. Now back to the video. But realistically, rain and wind will provide great cover for the noise you might make in escaping. If the camp is less guarded at night, you may want to wait till the cover of darkness to make your move. On the other hand, if the camp is better guarded at night, you may want to try to escape during the day. There's that old saying, the most obvious is the least obvious. Be advised that guards may be less attentive towards the end of their shifts than at the beginning. So factor this into your escape plan. Step 9. Join forces with other prisoners. If there are other residents who may want to escape the camp, figure out who they might be. You might want to consider joining forces with them. This will give you a better chance of success and will increase your safety. But bear in mind, the more of you who try to escape at once, the greater the likelihood that one of you is going to get caught, which will increase the likelihood that you will get caught. It's far more difficult to maneuver in stealth in a larger group. If you do choose to go this route, be very careful who you reveal your potential escape plan to. It is possible that in an attempt to curry favor with the guards, someone will rat you out. Step 10, stay hidden. Once you have escaped, Try to stay hidden and avoid drawing attention to yourself. Just because you've made it beyond the gates doesn't mean you're home free yet. The government is likely going to be looking for you, so it's very important that you stay under the radar and don't get complacent long after you've made your escape. Step 11. Keep moving. Don't stay in one place for too long. Keep moving and avoid predictable patterns. The longer you stay in one place, the more it is likely that you will be caught. Step 12. Conceal your tracks. Move along waterways and streams to dilute your scent for the bloodhounds who might be on your trail. If you do suspect you're being followed, try to make an abrupt and unpredictable change in your direction. This can throw off your pursuers and make it harder for them to keep up with you. Step 13. Make use of decoys. Leave false trails or decoys to confuse your pursuers. This could involve leaving footprints in many different directions, scattering items like clothing or food, using a dummy or mannequin to create a diversion. Try changing your appearance as much as possible. By altering your clothing, cutting your hair, this can make it harder for your pursuers to identify you from afar. It should go without saying that if in this hypothetical dystopian world technology still exists, Get rid of any cell phones or GPS devices that you might be carrying that could potentially give away your location from the tyrannical government you're running from. And remember, escaping from a martial law quarantine camp is a complex and potentially dangerous task. It's important to stay calm, think clearly, and have a well thought out plan in place. Whatever you do, never panic. Good luck, and remember, it's always important to try to prioritize nonviolent situations and to consider the potential consequences of your actions. Escaping the quarantine camp can be very dangerous, so proceed with caution and stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe to the Canadian Prepper YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Molly out. 
The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com, where you'll find high-quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk, and no gimmicks. Use discount code PREPPINGGEAR for 10% off. Don't forget, the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.